Ladies and gentlemen, to SMSU Esports for SMSU Rocket League versus Ferris State University. This is Karam McGraw off the field from Rocket League this time, joined by my friend Aiden here. Uh, welcome Soul 6 otherwise. Soul 6? <laughs> awesome. I was the captain of the Rocket League team last semester, so I'm very, very excited to be off the field and into the caster desk to bring you some great commentary for this game. Yeah, I, I cannot like we're wait to straight into it. Yeah, I cannot wait to uh, see this. I casted one game last year, and uh, it was it was one of the most fun uh, casting experiences that I had. So I am more than excited to see uh, what SMSU is bringing uh, for tonight. Starting off here in the SMSU third, runner going to get the ball out into the midfield. It's going to go over to Ferris though. Yeah, it, we're keeping a, a kind of a good push here. Still going to be on the rotation here. Gets demoed oh, there by demo. Ferris, though. Shot does mm, yep. go to the front post, though. Doesn't connect with the net. Oh, oh Runner we with might the shot already. On net. That was a nice defense there by the uh, blue team. Ball midfield now, headed towards orange. Looking to get a shot off, maybe. Maybe a little bit of a setup here. Sponge here trying to keep the defense for his team. Ooh, shot that's on, an however, open gets goal. Over. Ooh. Will be an early goal there for go. SMSU. This is a best of five series, so that early momentum is oh. very worthwhile, but does not decide the game. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm very surprised uh, to see that there was no defense on the uh, blue side of the the goal there. So it looks yeah, like they were looks they like they had a little of, uh, a hole in the rotation there. Not sure quite what happened. Ooh, that was a near shot on goal, and it looks like they immediately return with a score of their own. Still with a little bit of a whiff there. Looks like he gets a little bit caught in net there. Just doesn't quite have the read on the ball. Mm -hmm. Thinks it's going into the net instead of hitting post. And yep, yep. Hits the post and feeds out. All right, so now it's a tie game with already a minute out of the first five minutes here. Ball's going to spill over into the corner for Ferris. Uh, Hog going to have control but loses it. Gives it over to Roner. Sponge, though, going to have a oh. good higher contest there. Nobody's back for SMSU nope, here nope, in the net. Nope, there's one. And you got, yep. Going Runner's up go in up. the air. Gonna Maybe look a little for the bit double of a tap. setup. Doesn't quite get it. Feeds oh. it down to Sean, but Sean can't connect with it. Now Sponge. Here we go. Another Choose setup here. 50. They just need to tap it in. Runner Ooh, trying to find right. some space for SMSU. Doesn't get it to connect quite how he wants to, though. He's still staying up there, though. Gets a good feed. There's a demo on the field. It looks like Dylan one of there the... there with the good rotation. Out Sean. in the air. Whiffs the hit. Roner hitting it. Getting another setup, maybe. This must be doing a really Ooh. good job right now of keeping the pressure up on Ferris. Another demo. This can be good if we... Uh, Roner with the air. Doesn't quite a good connect. Kami with a good back pass there to Dill, though. Dill trying to control the ball. Doesn't quite get that final hit on it, though. It's going to go, possession is going to go back over to Ferris. See what they can do with it here, though. But Ferris gives Sean SMSU too it, much space. It back over. Sean manages to pick up there and get it. Oh, there's a blue downfield looking to get the goal. Sean blocks it, though. No, Dill trying to control the ball. Passes over to Sean. Sean tries to take the shot, but gets 50 by Ferris. Oh, Ferris trying to go on the offensive, get something in, but Ooh, that's a, a, that was a really close shot. Good on goal defense there. from SMSU. Sean gets a good hit there, Ooh, but that's, doesn't quite that's a pretty get good it to shot connect. On now Dill struggling oh, to get back. That Roner, was a though, nice defense by Roner. And now getting it out, getting it out of the goal. Blue team keeping up good pressure here now uh, for on Orange or uh, SMSU. Rona trying to get another touch there to get a center for his teammates. Neither of his teammates can None seem of the to find the contest. No one on SMSU is uh, currently in goal right now. Now we got two in goal. SMSU trying to get it out of their corner. Roner no misses on, the connect, yeah. and that is going to be a goal for Ferris to go up one goal in the series. Yeah, that was a that was a really good uh, capitalization there by uh, Chop on the blue team. Uh, he saw the uh, he saw the uh, 
opportunity and immediately took it. All right, we'll see how uh, now SMSU responds back. I'm going to spill out into the SMSU third. Chop, going to try Dill's going to go up in the air for it, try to get it. Rohner keeping it out of the goal. SMSU is a, trying yep, to a demo. Now pressure. they're down. Have a minute to equalize. Yeah, with the contest, he's gonna try and keep pressure. Order now, a chance, but it's contested there by Ferris. Give him a pause here. Bill yeah. getting the setup there. Shot getting it over Sean there. Runner will be there to pick up the slack though. Now Ferris trying to continue to get some pressure. Yep, but really all they need to do here is waste time. Yeah, blue team, all they really want to do is kind of play more defense than offense here. There's Possible no chance here for SMSU, but they don't have a member up there easily enough to contest it. I don't know. What do you think you do in this situation? Um, typically in this situation, when you're down like this, you really have to try and pressure. It seems like SMSU might have a little bit of nerves that they're trying to um, work out of right now, you know. Rugby League is a very uh, momentum-based game, mm -hmm. um, and you would you would hope and think that when you get that early goal, mm -hmm. free goal like that um, early on, that that gives you the momentum. But it can also give you like a false sense of security. Yep, yep. Um, uh, it it did seem like uh, SMSU did really get that uh, er once that early lead happened. Uh, they they felt like they got in their groove, but it was more or less a blue team mistake when they were all out of rotation and no one was uh, down to Yeah, defend. and Rocket League very much a game of mistakes. Uh -huh. um, if Rohner doesn't make that, if he doesn't whip that ball, they don't score. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's a tie game, and it, you know mm -hmm. that that simple whiff. If you're the player that can get in your head, and yep. you really, if you're the player, you have to not let that like, I got that whiff. It's yep. sinking into my brain. And it's going to bug me for the rest of the game. You just have to put it out of it. Yep. You have to put it out of your head. And if you can do that, you know, and keep yourself calm and collected mm -hmm. and keep playing well. Uh, you know. blue, blue team is up right now in this set of five. Uh, what do you think uh, SMSU can do uh, to uh, make the next round a, a much better game for them? Um, I want to see SMSU be a lot more decisive. Um, you know, it's the first, ga first game, yep. first match of the of the season yep um there's definitely going to be some nerves going through there um i played with roner and kami last last season um well technically kami was big two shot but yep, yep luckily yep, yep. He got his name changed this time around um and still practice with us he was around but you yep, know yep. it's it's a new three that are getting together and they're they're probably working out some kinks working out some chemistry yep. issues and uh, uh, I, I, yeah i understand that we'll have to see how they come back into this game Going over, Rohner with a nice defend there. Keeping it, letting it go over to. Uh, yeah, it has, has some good ball control there. Sean, not quite sure what to do with this ball up on the yeah, wall. Doesn't he, quite have the read. Kind of had a bad angle, and that led to a demo there for Sean. Sean gonna have some good control out of the ball. Gets a feed down into the middle. Careful. Teammates there to contest, but manages to. End up into a 50. Doesn't quite get the hit. Now. Yeah, that was a little bit of a scary situation there for SMSU. Now they're down one. Roner's out for a little bit. Dill with a nice defend. Having it go back over. Roner trying to go for the contest there. Doesn't quite have a read on what the opponent's doing quite yet. Sponge going to get a nice little hit mm -hmm. there. I would, I would say that these teams, uh, even based off of uh, last, they're pretty equally matched here. Uh, you know. They're, they're kind of going uh, tit for tat here. I have to see how the control is. There's a little bit more more car and ball control seemingly coming out for Ferris right now. Mm -hmm. I have to see if SMSU can get into the rhythm. Nice, uh, nice block good by Rohner. aerial there. Good save. Rohner getting it out and trying to apply some pressure to Blue, but it's coming back over to the orange side. We need some more pressure here coming out from Dill and Sean. Need them to get those important clears, those important hits to keep their pressure up on now it looks Now it looks like to me that uh, Blue is out of rotation, or at least for that little bit there. Um, 
I'm not quite sure. You know, rotations rotations a very dynamic thing in Rocket League. It's really hard sure. to tell whether something is the right or wrong rotation. No, no. Um, it, I, I'm just looking now. There's no one on goal is my point. Yeah, as long as there's someone rotating back um, with enough speed. Sure. As long as you see your teammate gotcha. is starting to move backwards towards your net, it's that's your signal to go. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Still keeping it up in the air. Not a little bit of a solve. Clear he wants. Gavin will be there on the wall to contest the shot. Ooh, dangerous we're getting, position. Yep, dangerous. Ball goes straight up in the air. Still up in the air. The blue team can get a good angle on it. Now blue has kept a lot of pressure here on SMSU. Uh, yeah, for blue. this most most of the round, uh, what do you think SMSU can do to? Uh, it, it seems like they might be struggling with oh, a little bit of oh, boost. Oh wait, roll! Great roll there coming right out with, from Dill. Yeah, enabling his teammate Roner to get that shot on net, and that is actually exactly what SMSU yep. needs to do. That is that is. Um, if you're in Rocket League and you're finding that uh -huh. the other team just seems to be a little bit outpacing you speed wise, mechanic wise, yep, yep, yep. you need to start getting physical. You need to get the bumps. You need to get the demos. Um, they're very high risk, high reward. If oh. you can manage to take out, um, completely demo uh, another player. Falls up in the air, headed towards mid. It really opens up that space and that rotation for your team to do what they want. And there it is again. So they had that long shot at the beginning with Roner's aerial, but it seems like, you know, immediately blue team scores, tying up the game. <coughs> what, do you, what do you think happened there? Is uh, I think Ferris was just playing a lot more like a team there. Sure. Um, we saw the passes go back and forth um, from higher to lower. Um, and that's also something that SMSU definitely wants to look to do some more. Um, they might not have that chemistry quite yet with this being a new three that they're uh -huh. fully going together. Um, you know, playing rank threes oh, is a lot different. here we go with the dribble. Versus playing in an organized play, um, like, mm -hmm. setting. Yep. So really just trying to, you know, look to play off their team. Um, well, now SMSU here applying a little bit of pressure here to Ferris. Sean will be there to collect. Doesn't quite get the hit. He probably wants to get there. Chop here has some great car control to take that away from Dale. A good back pass there to Hogginator. Roner keeping it up. And, and a really good boost steal there by Hogginator. That's going to take a lot of momentum out of SMSU. Taking that 100 away from them yep, now it's makes it so that they can't play the way that they want to. Nice contesting at the goal. Ooh, Hog, Hog? kind of in a dangerous yeah. position here in the mid. I don't know. I feel like if SMSC, if there was someone with a line shot, Ooh. Roner with a nice save, and there's a demo on the field. SMSU having a little bit of fight left in them here. Mm -hmm. It is one to one. Series is not contested, or game is not contested yet. Yeah. Decided. Sean trying to get some pads here. Get some more boost in his tank to Ooh, another demo. help us as you get some pressure there. Dill will be there for the contest. Or Sean, I mean. Sponge Remember, going, going all the way up sponge. in the air for that. Dill jumps for it, but doesn't have the boost in the tank to get to the ball. Sean going to keep, keep trying to contest. Has 20 boost here to work Runner, with. maybe with an open shot. Nope. Can't quite get it to him. Now Dill Nine looking for that, left. but he goes up in the air. I mean, if they can keep the ball in the air, Ooh, then... Chop here gets a bump on there from one of the SMSU teammates. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a match. There Sudden go. death here overtime. Here we go. Overtime. So it's First overtime of the season. There we go. All right. So, uh, correct me if I'm... Uh, how does overtime exactly work? Is it just first to score? It is first to score. All right. No, score. no time limit? Um, I do not believe there's a time limit in the match rules. Gotcha. Um, I could be wrong. Sean here with some space, gets it over one defender. Yeah, so all, all SMSU's gotta do is just get one in, all yep. right? Ooh, that Ooh, was dangerous. With a possible pinch there into the goal, but doesn't manage to get it to connect. Hoganator gonna get a good center there, gets a demo. Oh, there's a demo. Now goal Ferris gonna be open. looking to just bully the SMSU team. Sean, though, with a nice save, crashing right into um, Hog there. Ferris getting very, very physical with SMSU, bullying them around the field. Runner there will have to a, save. That was a close shot. The chop here has a good amount of car control, good amount of recovery. Yeah, Dill's got a, or SMSU in general needs to just get it off of their side. They need to kind of take a little bit of a breather. 
kind of reset I, momentum. I'm going to guess that SMSU is feeling a little pressure here. Ooh, doesn't have any member of the rotation there to immediately challenge. Um, it's definitely Sean's rotation there to challenge um, as he sees both of his teammates rotating back. Uh huh. Um, and that is really the speed part of Rocket League. You have to know, you have to be really decisive and know when to challenge and be yep. really fast about it because that millisecond will be the difference between you winning a 50 50 and losing uh -huh. one. Barris getting a Rohner lot got of power a free here. shot, maybe, but hot. Sean going to be there to try and. Get something. This yep. stays on the wall, but doesn't have any boost to work with here. All really three, needs to get back. All three of Ferris now sitting inside the goal, keeping it nice and contested. Sean with an aerial shot, but Hog, Hog keeping it out. Will be there. Rohner going back up in the air. Chop missing it. Oh, that's an oh, open goal that right now. That is an now. open goal, and yep. that will be. The second game for Ferris versus SMSU. Yeah, so it looked like Dill, I believe it was Dill, he tried to get it. No, Sean. Sean yeah. tried to, to intercept it. Uh, that was a bit of a risky play, I would say. Yeah. How, do, how do you feel about that? Yeah, so um, I didn't quite see where uh, Rohner or Dill were in that situation, but it do didn't look like they were rotating back mm -hmm. yet. Um, definitely in that when you're the third man back situation like that, you your job is to buy time for your teammates to get sure, back. Sure. Um, so, so would you believe playing a little more conserva conservatively in that situation is just a better idea? Um, yeah, possibly, especially when you're in overtime and it's a you know it's mm -hmm. match point. Um, it's it's really hard sometimes mm -hmm. in Rocket League that push and pull of the momentum. Yep, yep. Like, how much how much do I contest? How much do I try and challenge this person? Like, do I have a really good read on how they're playing? Uh -huh. Gotcha. Um, are they faster than me? Yep. Like, if I take this challenge, like. Ferris is demonstrating some really, really good car control and boost control. Yep. Um, and it seems like they're mechanically outplaying SMSU a little bit here. I see. Um, I gotcha. And so definitely if I was Sean in that situation, I wouldn't have pushed. But that's a really hard call to make, you know? Yeah, Like, yeah, in the heat sure. of the moment, it's milliseconds. Yeah. No, I, I definitely understand. Sometimes, you know, it's overtime. You know, you got to make a decision and you go for that risky play. You know, if you do, that would have immediately changed momentum and that could have led to a goal yeah you know? and that 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 split second play really just kind of decided the game it, it's hard to tell way. because we don't have the same uh, casting software that the rocket yep, league yep. casters have where they have the boost totals on the other corners of the screen for all the players sure, um, yeah. but i'm every time we would switch to an smsu player i was looking at their boost and they were not the greatest amount of boost and it's really hard to keep up your speed and keep going in Rocket League when uh, you don't have the boost to do it. You can't get up into those high aerials to challenge fast and you can't move as fast as you want to. Ferris here seem to have a uh, fairly good start here. Have a good center there onto, onto the SMSU box but now Dill again. with a great contest there mm -hmm. in there. Now, now I will say again that um, Ooh, good pass here to Sponge. Sponge is going to center it up above the box. Big Ooh, whip there by Ferris, yep. but a bump there might save it. And Sponge there Sponge does nice get the recovery. Nice save for Ferris there. It was a very dangerous mistake by Ferris. Ooh, Sponge putting that into a fairly dangerous position. Now we're running here. Ooh, he had the angle on it. Does if he was just a little touch. bit. Demo does come out there from runner. Sean going to look for another one on Hog. Oh, there's another demo. Sponge, while I say that, demo's Dylan. Sean actually cuts off Rona there, unfortunately. Rona had the, his, uh, the front of his car was square with the ball, mm -hmm. so he would have had a stronger hit. He had all the momentum that was a forwards. nice That was a nice save by Sean there, and now he's getting it out, going over to the blue side. Hog bringing it back over to orange. Dill trying to meet up on the wall there. Trying to play off the wall. Doesn't quite get a connect. Dill has no boost here, though. And Ferris getting very, very physical. Pulling SMSU around here, trying to find an opening. No goals yet, though. In a minute and a half into the game, Roner trying to keep some more pressure. Mm -hmm. Can't quite find the connect. Still there, doesn't quite have the speed he needs. And just the ball barely just clips barely it. Barely goes out. Nice, nice by uh, Dill there. Roner is on the wall. Let's get a second connect. It it's isn't going a fairly good air. spot, but SMSU not fast enough Dale to connect. Dill bringing it back over. Capitalize on that hit. Sean going. Kind of an awkward, or Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it good. moves so fast. It's my first yeah, time yeah. casting Rocket no, League. No, you know, you're good. You're it's, good. It's real fun to play it, and it moves real fast for you to play it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you get used to it after a bit. Dill bringing it back over. A little bit of... 
Now Sean getting up with the setup. Ooh, Sponge keeping there's it out of the had goal. a little bit of a miscommunication. Roner tries to put a shot on net, but it doesn't connect. Hits the near post. Dill there going to try and get a good 50. So here's a lot of that pressure that we were looking to see from SMSU earlier in these games. I feel like Blue has uh, taken control a lot more good. for pressure. That was a nice shot on goal, but Hog was there to stop it. Sean with a good high aerial. Gets it up there. Going to force some nice defense block. coming out. Yep, nice block by Sean Ferris. there. Going to be uh, a who's good on goal day right from now. Hog. All right. Dill with the contest. Does one out the 50, but Chop is going to be there. Going to try and feed it into the midfield, but doesn't get the shot to connect. Hits it a little bit too soft there with the bottom of his car. Roner now here throwing it up in the air to the blue side. And we got a demo. Chop going to try and slow play this. Gets it past one defender. Tries to play Dill, but Dill will get the 50. Roner Sponge, though, looking to gets it in a dangerous a position. Bit. He's going to fake for his teammate. It's going to fake out Roner, and that is going to be a yep. goal for Ferris. Now, Ferris now taking the the uh, lead, getting the first uh, goal because uh, SMSU started off both of these rounds uh, with the first <coughs> goal. So it's, uh, it's interesting to see that uh, Ferris finally, after three minutes of play. See if SMSU can bring it back here with a minute 40 left and get the equalizer. Ooh, there it and is right there. with the equalizer, as I say it, <laughs> as pulls you it say off. It. That is very interesting. It seems like we wait forever for like the first goal <laughs> in each of these rounds that, and immediately. That is how it happens in Rocket League sometimes. That momentum reverses. All it takes is that one kickoff to go a little bit where you don't want it to go. Yeah, exactly. And it ends up being in a really squirrely position. Speaking of squirrely positions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Blue had a yeah, Blue had a little bit Ooh, of trouble there. Sean tries Ooh. to get the redirect, doesn't quite get it to connect. Looks like it was going to, but... Now Roner playing a little offensively here. Smithsu oh. knows that they need to have the power. Nice tap. Nice tap. And Sean with the Sean goal. Sean with the goal. Slow plays it there a little bit and just kind of yeah, fakes kinda, out kinda the Yeah, kind of just dribbled, dribbled it in there. Yeah, it looked like... Who was that? Sponge, I believe, who was just... A little bit above that ball. SMSU now, are up one goal. Have yeah, a minute S ten left. SMSU uh, at this point, I'd say you uh, you run clock down, right? You kind of play as much defense um, as possible, or do you think you go for one more goal? You know, it, goal? De it depends on how you're feeling, right? Like, if, if you're feeling really confident, I think if you're SMSU here, you, you have to keep the offensive because with the sure. extra car control and the extra just speed that it seems yep. that Ferris has, if you give them uh, too much space, they will capitalize on it, and yep. they will hurt you for Chop it. out a boost so he couldn't go anywhere with that. Roner to look, looking to get a little bit off the wall there, trying you know, to flip into it. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense, especially sure. in yep. Rocket League, because um, if you can keep the pressure really hard on the other opposing side... You, you don't know, have to worry can, so much on your well, side. Well, yeah, yeah, and you can you can take their boost away from them. You can take oh, the resources yeah. away from them. You know, and if you have the boost, you can demo them. You can do all these other things that make it way harder for the other team to actually, like, break out of their half. No, it makes sense to me. This was you coming up bit more alive here in this third game. Yeah, I think this is the, the, the kind of thing that SMSU really needed. Four more seconds. They just got to keep it. Let it hit the ground now. Just need to get it on the ground. They just got to ground the ball. Ball yep. still up in the air. They just need it grounded. Blue trying it. There we let go. It drop. And SMSU yep. takes the third yep. game of this best of five match. Yeah, so we are not done yet. And this is definitely uh, last semester. This was a lot of what SMSU when I was on the team we were dealing with where we would uh, come to the games you know we'd, we'd, we'd come in early enough we'd get a good warm up in but uh -huh. uh, you know we wouldn't necessarily come alive until like the second or third game nope. it, it'd take us uh, getting a little bit of a beating to like mm -hmm. really get that adrenaline going and like really get it clicking like okay we gotta compete yeah, exactly. we gotta go yeah no, no amount of warm up is really gonna pr mm -hmm. prepare you for what you need and so I want to take a little bit. Uh, what do you think now that Ferris uh, kind of lost this round? What do you think they could be uh, doing in their game plan uh, to change things up? A um, little bit? You know, I think Ferris just needs to keep doing what they're doing. Um, okay. I think that goal from Sean was a little bit of a, I don't want to say a fluke, but um, I believe if I remember right, the Ferris players are a little bit higher ranked than SMSU are. Okay. Um, and when you play with those higher ranked, when you're used to playing against higher ranked players, you expect them to play a certain way. Yep, yep. And then when you get a lower ranked player that does something that you're maybe not expecting, yep. it's, it just happens that way. And sometimes 
uh, goals can be scored that way. Yeah. That so I, I think what they need to do is they need to not underestimate SMSU. Uh, sure. I think that's really easy to do when you get when you're up 2-0 in a series, mm -hmm. um, and you definitely like if you're Ferris, you probably feel like you have the car control. Um, yeah. They've been getting more passing plays off than SMSU wow. has. Um, but no, S SMSU has been uh, dealing with uh, Ferris quite well, even if they are higher higher ranked. Yeah, yeah, and, and mean, that's that's the big difference between like organized play and just playing in ranked. Yeah. Right. Is you have chemistry between players. You're trying to play as a team, not as individuals. Uh huh. And that's really what makes the difference. It's how it's how well you play as a team, especially in Rocket League, where rotations are so important. And you know when you cut off your if you make one small mistake and you you take a challenge when it was your teammates challenge to take yep. it opens up all the space on the field and a good player will take that run with it and score on you a lot of pressure here coming out from ferris early on here smsu though answering it back fairly well it seems like i think if you're smsu here one of the things they also need to try to do is uh and i think that they did a lot better of a job of this uh -huh. in the second game is getting some really good power clears Power clears. Uh, explain to me what exactly a um, power clear is. So the way that the physics work in Rocket League sure. is the strongest hit you're ever going to get on the ball is right after it bounces Ooh, because that's all a, of the upward that's a momentum. Dangerous spot. Oh. not getting the greatest hit he wants there. Does get Ooh. another hit there, though. Going to maybe look for the demo. And that's going to be a score from Roner. Oh, I want to see a replay on that because we were stuck in smoke there. A Roner? really great play. Roner, Roner realizes he there. doesn't have he doesn't have and the, he, he demoed. He okay. realizes he doesn't have the boost when he lands there. If you notice, he had uh -huh. no boost left, but he had the speed, and he knows that a defender is coming back in that line. So he just keeps his line, manages to connect, yeah. and it was, manages to get SMSU the goal. Yeah, that's that a great that was, play. Yeah, someone's got to clip that for sure. Uh, trying to get a shot on net. Doesn't get it to connect. We'll get the SMSU boost steal here, though. Going to yep. rotate out. Going to so, be there for another hit. And does get the score yep, there over Sean there. Yep, as I was about to say, uh, as we've seen in previous rounds, there was that. There, it's usually the one goal that takes a little bit, and then the immediate goal right <laughs> after, as we've seen. No matter which side of the ball it yeah, is. Yeah, the way that momentum ebbs and flows in Rocket League is really, really mm -hmm. interesting. So you're going to keep trying to put up some fight here. Sean in kind of an awkward spot. Dangerous spot. Runner there will bail, bail him out. Doesn't quite get the hit he maybe wants to get there. Going to be a good feed in, but Dill will try and pass Sean it down to Sean. To go Sean for it. will whiff that pass. Now Hagen Air has full nice, control looking up for a flick. Nice dribble there. Runner, though, will have the contest on him. Awkward spot oh, for Sponge, and it's going to it. go over Sponge, and Dale yeah. will score the second goal for SMSU, taking the one-goal lead over Ferris. Now, I think in the replay, there's two blue players in there, right? So you got Sponge and Hog both coming in, and they were just not there. It was such a well-placed yeah, ball in the, that goal. The placement from Dale there is really great, so the best place you can place the ball if there's a defender in net is uh -huh. behind them. You can only boost in one direction, and that's forward. You yep. can't boost backwards. Gotcha. So you actually can't move as fast backwards as you can forwards. SMSU Ooh. trying to immediately kind of go into no man's land territory. Uh, at least that's how it feels in these games where it's Runner only been one point clear, But doesn't get enough of Here a we connect. Go. There is a lot of back and forth going in in this round. This is, this is becoming very interesting. This is what I'm talking about with the power players. Yep. When you get a really slight hit on that, it's almost better if you just had it hit the ball. Gotcha. Um, so getting those good power clears, and but at the same time with power clears, you don't want to just give possession over to the enemy mm -hmm. team. Yep. You want to try and keep possession in your team, and that's the really, really finicky part of Rocket League because it's hard to hit the ball hard in Rocket League. It's hard to learn how to do that. It's even harder to learn how to hit the ball soft when you're going supersonic fast. Yeah, 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 no. Order no boost here, trying to contest. Going to leave that for his teammates. Little bit of a double commit there from SMSU. See if they can recover from that. Dill not committing to that. We're going to have the Chop connect. Chop trying to get it. Dill keeping it out of the goal, though. Chop going back up with the aerial. Sean there, though. Going to come off the wall. Pass Hawk over trying to, to get a little bit. Right off the... Really dangerous position yep. there. Right off the... They Runner need to though. get it out of that goal. 
will manage to get it out. Sean Donna now taking a clear to shot. Roner tries to go for the double tap, but doesn't quite have the space to get to connect. Now Chop bringing it back over. Sean trying to keep it. Nice play by Dill to keep it over. Hawk bringing it back. Sean now keeping it out. Sean still keeping it out. They have another 50. Doesn't quite get the connect there. Roner now getting it over to Sean, maybe? Sean can come back and come for it. Ooh, Dill SMSU keeping it out. Player Dill with. there to contest that. Sponge no only has five no boosts here, though. Goal so the right best now. he can do is pass. And that's a great yeah. pass from Sponge to Hog. And that will be a goal by Hog for Ferris. Yeah. To give uh, them the was, one goal lead in the series. Yep. Sean was just there along with Roner, but that was that was a very good play. 42 seconds to try and equalize it to maybe bring it to overtime. I think all uh, Blue is going to try to do is try to maybe waste time or immediately get another goal. There's a demo on the field. If I'm Ferris here, I want a security goal. Security I do goal, not gotcha. want to give SMSU a chance to equalize this. Well, it looks like they're doing all lot. It looks like they had all pressure there for that little bit. Runner here. Runner keeping Gets it up, up there, in the but air. doesn't have any boost to actually do anything with it. Now, Sean in a dangerous position. Does have a 50, but careful uh, with that. Doesn't quite have the second contest, and Chop yep. will get it over him there. Yep. I think Chop just sealed uh, the whole the whole uh, game here uh, with that last goal. Yeah, only 10 seconds left here. Not a whole lot of. Wait, Not a whole crazier lot. things have happened when I've played sure, Rocket League. Sure. No, I get it. Something could definitely happen, like a straight on goal immediately, and then a lot of up in the air. But Yeah, with think, that, this is likely going to be looking like it is going to be yep. a Ferris match point. And, yeah, they tried and to get with it. That, Ferris will win out over SMSU for SMSU versus Ferris S State University for Rocket League. Um, you know, interesting match to see from SMSU. Um, no, I uh, I actually very much enjoyed uh, SMSU's performance. They kept it very close for uh, most of it. Lost a little bit of momentum there in that fourth round, but you could definitely see the like they them feeling their groove. Yeah, in you that, could definitely see SMSU sure. came alive a lot more um, in that third in that third game. Uh -huh. They brought back a lot of fight. Um, I honestly think they would have possibly won the series if they had that fight going into that first game yep yep um i i definitely or even that second game where it went into overtime yeah there, um, again there's just a lot of like little things that make make this uh whole yeah set i mean go that, that first game it was just a slight whiff by roner uh -huh. that gives them that gives up the goal uh -huh. and that's that's the game point um the second game it was the slight misplay from sean pushing yep. and trying to take a 50 when he didn't need to yet he yep. needed to buy time um you know, some whiff, some nervousness. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first game of the season. Um, no, no, I am definitely excited uh, to come back every Monday and, uh, <laughs> and I, see where this I team goes. I am as well. Um, uh, you know, last semester we lost the first two matches we had, and uh -huh. then we went on to win the win the four more. Or the sure, we ended up four and two. Yeah, um, but we lost those first two because it took those first two to really. Um, like teach us how we need to play like mm -hmm. reinforce how like how important rotations are um and so you know smsu going through a little bit of uh hiccups with that i think um, yeah but they'll work through that um yep got a really good coach uh -huh. really good players they're really dedicated so yeah i i see uh, uh no problems here uh for smsu you know they shouldn't really take this too too much to heart you know it's just tiny little mistakes that change the game all the point differentials were like within one goal for the most part mm -hmm. So they really shouldn't, you know, they, they should actually be quite excited for the uh, season to come. Yep. So thank you so much for joining us here on SMSU Esports. We will be back here at 7.15 and I believe 8.15 for two Valorant matches, um, two best of ones. So please join us back then, and we will see you soon.